I benefit a lot from being a child of a revolution. When you are dismantled from your own country, taken to a different country, you realize that life is precious. I'm a computational biologist. I became a Packard Fellow in 2008. It was my first year as a junior faculty, uh, and it was an amazing time to have that kind of support. My lab is split into three parts. We've got the dry lab. The kind of computational tools that my lab develops is a way of mining the genome, looking for mutations that have happened in the past that have been key to human survival. We've got the wet lab where individuals are running experiments, studying viruses, but also studying the human genome. These next generation sequencing machines are part of that. They are extraordinary. They generate tons of data. We do have these special rooms in which we work with samples that are of a sensitive nature. And then we also have a big management team. I do work on a lot of infectious diseases and many of the ones I work on are the most devastating. So behind us is the um, new uh, institute that the Ministry of Health is supporting. It's actually a testament of how successful we've been that they're building a center of excellence for Lassa fever. But this is where we began. This is the Institute for Lassa Fever Research and Control. It's where we do PCR-based diagnostics to test for Lassa virus in an individual's blood. In the institute, we start each day with singing. It's a great way to gain strength for the difficult but important work ahead. We've been pursuing that hypothesis that Lassa virus has been driving evolution of humans for a long time because it's such a devastating virus. The doctors, the uh, nurses that are working with Lassa fever patients are often putting themselves at great risk. About three to five physicians, uh, nurses, staff would uh, die every year. So you can just imagine the amount of risks that they're taking. But since we're able to build the diagnostic capacity, individuals are tested immediately and there is a treatment that is quite effective. Since 2008, they haven't lost a single individual. I would be just so pleased if my impact was to do some good science that helps individuals uh, with infectious diseases and also help to develop a community of individuals who are both great scientists and great people. Everybody has a little hope to sell, and hope is coming fast. Everyone has their own way to make it. Why don't you take your time and take it all, and take it while you can. Why don't you have more faith?